Hey everybody, uh, this uh, lesson is we're, we're uh, factoring ax squared plus bx plus c and we're modeling this. So it looks like we're going to build a patio around here. So you have a small patio and want to improve it. Uh, you can build one of the following features, a fish pond, a planter box, or fire pit. I like all of those. So choose one of the projects and drag it to the, to the patio. So what I'm going to do, you can't see me do this in this slide, but I'm going to pick the fish pond and drag it over here and it's going to give me this information right here. Now I'm going to make that bigger so it's easier to read. Here it is right here. It says the patio is a rectangle and all of them are really close to the same, just a little bit different numbers. I was checking them out. So the patio is a rectang is rectangular so and has a total area of 24 square feet. Okay, so remember rectangles are length times width or width times height or whatever. So you are building a rectangular fish pond and want the length of the pond to be twice the width. So whatever the length is, it's always going to be twice the width. Okay, you also are going to add a one foot border around the entire pond. So suppose that, um, now remember the total area is going to be 24. That includes that one foot border going around. Okay, and the pond is inside, so it's a rectangle inside and then a bigger rectangle outside with a foot little um, uh, dimensions going around the outside. So suppose the total area of the patio uh, is represented by the polynomial 2x squared plus 6x plus 4, where x is the width of the fish pond. So once we figure out x and we double that, and that'll give us the length right there, okay? And remember the total area including including the border is 24 square feet. So so what do we know? Okay, so we know it's a rectangular fish pond and the length of the pond is twice the width. We're going to put a one foot border uh, around the entire pond and so the rectangular patio for everything including that one foot border is 24 square feet. Okay, so the total area of the patio is represented by that polynomial 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Uh, where x is the length of the fish pond, okay, and so what do we want to find out? We want to find out the dimensions of the fish pond. Okay, so what kind of answers do we expect? Well, we're definitely not going to get negative answers because we're talking about length. So a positive number for the length and width for the project. So if we get a negative number, we can toss it out and disregard it. Okay, so, so we're going to go ahead and set this polynomial equal to the total area. So I'm going to set this polynomial equal to that right there. Okay, there it is right there. All right, and then let me just slide that up. We'll slide it up in just a second. Okay, let's go back here. So here's that equation right here. So I set the polynomial equal to 24, and we're going to take that polynomial, and that's going to tell us to use inverse operations to make the right side of the equation equal to 0. Okay, the reason why we want it to equal 0 is because it's a quadratic. Quadratics is a squared term. We always, almost always, not always, but almost always, you know, 99% of the time, if it's a quadratic, we want this to be 0, not 24. So we're going to get rid of that 24 by subtracting 24 from both sides, and I'll put it underneath that plus 4 right there. Okay, now careful, you guys. 4 minus 24 is negative 20. Okay, so now we're going to work with that polynomial, and we're going to factor out a GCF out of this uh, left-hand side. Can you see these are all even numbers? So we can pull a 2 out of all of those. So when we pull a 2 out of all of those, just think I'm going to take out the 2 out of 2x squared. So this would be x squared. And then 2 times 3 gets me 6x. So this would be 3x right here. Sorry. And then um, uh, 2 times negative 10 will go right here. So that's what goes in the, in the middle right there. Okay. Now we're going to take that and factor that. So factor the polynomial completely. Okay, so now we have uh, an x squared right here. So this, I'm going to go a binomial times a binomial and float them both with x's because that's the only way I can get x squared is x times x. Then we look at this number, negative 10. Not 10, but negative 10. And we say factors of negative 10. There are four different pairs that will get me negative 10. 1 times negative 10, negative 1 times positive 10, 2 times negative 5, and negative 2 times positive 5. And then we look at these pairs right here, and we find, and now we focus on this plus 3 right here. So we find the pair that adds to that plus 3. 
So this adds to negative 9. These two guys add to positive 9. This, these add to negative 3. This is the pair that adds to positive 3. So, so that's the pair that's going to go in there. I'm going to put the plus 5 right there and the minus 2 right there. That's the pair that goes in there. Okay, now that we have it factored, uh, since it equals 0, here we have something times something. Here's 2 times x plus 5 times x minus 2 equals 0. Then we know that at least one of those factors must equal to 0. Well, 2 doesn't equal 0. It equals 2. So we can disregard that. So we're going to set this binomial equal to 0, x plus 5 equal to 0, and set x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, and then solve. So I'm going to go minus 5, minus 5 plus 2 plus 2 and we get x equals negative 5 over 2. Now remember we can toss out the negative because we're talking about lengths but before we do they want us to check our work by substituting in those two values into the equation uh, to confirm that it does equal 0. So I'm just going to substitute in negative 5 and positive 2. Okay so negative 5 is going to go right here so 2 times negative 5 squared plus 6 times negative 5 minus 20, and we're going to check that that equals 0. It will plug in 2. 2 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 20, we're going to check that that equals 0 also. Okay, now remember, a negative squared is a positive, so this becomes 25. This becomes minus, so this is 2 times 25. This is going to be a minus 30 minus 20. This is going to be 2 times 4, because 2 squared is 4 plus 12 minus 20. Okay, so that's going to be that. And then uh, simplify. 2 times 25 is 50. And then 2 times 4 is 8. And then so let's just make sure it equals 0. Okay, 50 minus 30 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. So that works. 8 plus, 20, 8 plus 12 is 20. 20 minus 20 equals 0. So that works also. So we checked that both of those answers are there. Okay, and then, um, so what are the dimensions of the project? Remember, the width of your project is represented by x. Okay, well, remember, you guys, we get x equals negative 5 or 2, but the width can't be negative, so we can disregard the negative, so we know that the width, which is x, is going to be 2. So I'm going to put in 2 right here, and the length is twice that. Remember that the length is, is twice the width, so 2 feet and 4 feet right there. All right, we're almost done, you guys. Okay, so now we're going to draw a, a new picture of the patio that shows the dimensions of the project and the border. And check to confirm that the total area equals the area under the patio. So remember, the total area was 24. Okay, so it's a rectangular fish pond, and the length of the pond is twice the width. Okay, 2 and 4, we got that. All right, let's do that first, you guys. Okay, so there's my there's my fish pond, okay? And now we're going to put a one-foot border around uh, the entire pond right there. So there's a one-foot border around the entire pond. Now, right here, you guys, since this is two and we add one and we add one to both sides, and this length or this width down here is going to be four, okay? And then since this length right here is four, and we add one on top, and we add one on bottom, then this is going to be six, and up, up on to, I'm sorry, this is going to be six over here. This will be six, and this will be six. Okay, and then, um, uh, let's see, and then what am I doing? So, so let's put those dimensions in right there. So the top and bottom piece are four, and the left and right piece are six, so we get four by six. Now, the pond, it says that the length is twice the width, okay? So that's true right there. The length is twice the width. And then it says after we put the one foot border around, then we get four by six. And then we want to check that four times six equals 24, because that's what the directions say. And so it does fit. And, and we're all done. All right, you guys, take care.